Michigan, Ohio State. Now, <clears throat> we came on the air nine years ago, right? Nine years ago, and we were just coming out of the whole Rich Rod, Brady Hoke stuff, and I came on the air when I heard the Niners and Jim Harbaugh were not doing very well together. Mm. Made it one of my first causes here in this program to say, we need Jim. Got to have Jim. Everybody told me you're crazy. Guess what we got? We got Jim. And things, um, you know, took a while to turn around. <laughs> Certainly against Ohio State. And there was a rented mule, and we got beaten like it, and all that sort of stuff. And there was a close game, and an overtime, a double overtime with a, a spot and all that. And it just uh, was very difficult to take because that's all I would hear is from Ohio State people. Like, and it would be stuff like, you know, man, it would be nice to get that rivalry back again, you know. be nice, you know, to get that big game back again. But, you know, if only you guys held up your end of the bargain. Heard that a lot. And it sucked, quite frankly. And um, then the worm, as we know, a couple years ago, turned. I had a great time on this program then. That was great. Came on, spoke with my chest. Said it with your chest. And then everybody in Ohio State thought, oh, well, that's just an outlier. And then they did it again. Two in a row. Two in a row. And so going for three in a row for the first time since the mid-'90s this weekend, and I – last week, agreed that it's the biggest game in the history of this rivalry. Both teams undefeated. And again, this is the last time there will only be four teams going into the college football playoffs. Meaning future Michigan-Ohio State games at the end of November will be to basically... Talk about seeding, maybe, who gets a bye week, who gets to host a game. Not like who's in and who's out. Right. Last such one of these. But then, you know, talking about the elephant in the maize and blue room, the whole Connor Stallions ticket purchasing scheme, elaborate scheme that the Big Ten said, meant Jim Harbaugh needed to be sat for three games and Jim fought it and then accepted it, which means there's some there there, and that's all Ohio State fans need. To fill the void of their wins, the conversation being, well, we knew there had to be something fishy for Michigan to start actually dominating. Had to be something up that we can't compute even though they were a physically more imposing team and seemed to want it more. And we sense that when we talk about our coach all the time in Ryan Day. Why does Michigan suddenly seem to want it more? But they put that to bed. No, don't think about that and the play calling and all that sort of business. There has to be a scheme. And I knew that was all on the line because that's all Ohio State needed was one win to have that wipe out everything that I had seen and we had all seen to turn this series around, turn the Michigan fortunes around, turn the Big Ten around. So when this game started and it was tight, Michigan goes up 14-3 to on a disputed touchdown. Should it have been a turnover? Should it have been a touchdown? I sat there thinking to myself, you know what? I've seen controversial calls by officials go against me in this series before. Maybe, just maybe, it's the thumb on the scale by the football gods. Maybe not. I don't know. I don't know. But it's 14-3, and then, A, after that interception that Michigan had, and it needed about 15 snaps to get it in the end zone, despite it being from the 10-yard line in, at least it felt that way. You know, and Sharon Moore, our... Interim head coach was leaning on the run a lot. And I'm like, "Uh uh-oh, here comes Ohio State. And sure enough, in the third quarter, after Michigan scored a field goal to start that second half, Ohio State runs it right down Michigan's throat. I mean, that series was impressive. And that Marvin Harrison Jr., um, in the history of this series, 
like Zeke Elliott maybe scared me more. Um, Garrett Wilson, you know, there's a bunch of great receivers. I don't, I mean, this guy is like a nightmare, you know? And, and after the game, you know, there was a whole bunch of conversation about why didn't they throw to him more. It, he said he's never seen coverage like this. Well, he better get used to it because Michigan treated him like the pro bowler he might already be right now. And he still scored a touchdown. And that was frightening, too, because that was like a Don Brown defensive coordinated Michigan touchdown where he's untouched off the line of scrimmage, untouched running across, and then untouched as he's running in. That had, I, that had me flash back to those 60-burger days, right? And that's when I turned to Susie and I said to her, she can attest to this. I turned around, I'm like, why does this mean so much to me? I just, I just wish this didn't mean so damn much to me. Because I'm like not enjoying it. Like I'm so, I'm, I'm on edge. I'm, again, looking at my children to try and calm myself down. Let's find the love and treat them. If I put a good dad in this moment, not only is it a good, you know, uh, uh, model for them, but I'm, I'm also maybe it's good karma. Maybe the football gods will give me a little help here because I'm being a good guy to the kids. Uh, honestly, I'm just not thinking straight. <laughs> That's how badly I wanted this one. And then Michigan took the lead. Zach Zinter goes down, 41 starts. This kid has his leg snap. And... Um, and by the way, the Michigan staff went out to console the Ohio State player who was involved in that as well. Yeah, it was rough. In the, in the, I mean, it was, it was wild. And, yeah. you know, momentum seemed to switch then, but then Ohio State gets it back, and then they score, and then Michigan now has to just run out the clock or score points, and then we all saw what happened. They run it down to about a minute to go, kick a field goal, give Ohio State a shot to go down the field, get pressure on the court up the gut, and then an interception to seal it. And that's when I realized why it meant so much to me, because it's so damn sweet. The sun shined brighter, food tastes better, and life gets better minute by minute. Like right now, this win feels better to me than when I started the sentence. <laughs> and it now feels better to me than it did before you just left, TJ. And seriously, Sharon Moore winning it. Because what do you hear from Ohio State right now? Silence. Nothing. Zero. Point zero. In my direction. In their own direction. Oh, they're pointing fingers and firing away. Oh, that's happening right now. Which is another thing that makes this so damn sweet. So sweet. And especially the silence on what they were ready to say about the last two years. It was Connor Stallions. It was the cheating. It wasn't us and it wasn't them. It was the cheating. They were ready to pounce. You think I'm wrong? This is what Coach Ryan Day had to say in a local interview just days before the game. Might even be just two days before the big game, before he got on the bus or the flight to go up to Ann Arbor. It's like that every year, right? I mean, this is this game comes comes uh, every year, and this is how you're evaluated. We know that, and you know we've we've learned a lot about you know what's gone on the last couple of years, and so we're going to be really prepared to play in this one. There's been a lot said over the last couple a of lot years. Said. Uh, there's been a lot going on the it's last not, few weeks. A lot going Investigation on. And everything. You've oh, taken yeah. the high road high on road. the whole thing. Here we go. Uh, and and you're continuing to do that. Yeah. I don't think it does any good to comment on it right now. I think there'll be a time and place for that. Uh, what matters is this game and getting our guys prepared to go win it. I think the time and place has arrived, don't you? What has gone in the last two years? And let's add a third year on top of it. Show it. Show it to everybody at home. There it is. 3-0. 39 points per game on average. Rushing for 235. That's a lot. On average. Getting six yards on average per rush in your face, in the trenches, in your gut. Let's talk about that and the fact 
that Connor Stallions, long gone, ripped out root and branch to the point where it was ripped out so root and branch, Harbaugh wasn't there. Ryan Day now has as many wins against Michigan as Jerome Moore has against Ohio State. <laughs> oh, that's so glorious. I cannot tell you how glorious that is. Especially if we eventually find at the end of the day you want to talk conspiracy theories. How did the NCAA get a fully baked investigation placed in its lap? Knock on the door. Hey, you should be looking at this feller named Stallions on the Michigan staff. Harbaugh sitting at home for three games. Who were the coaches who bitched and moaned about it? Who were the athletic directors? Maybe, just maybe it was the one who was in the face of a Michigan stadium worker telling him to get behind the yellow line on the sideline, saying, I can get the Big Ten involved in this. Sorry, you only get one of those, and it's what sat the coach at home. And you know what? Now you're hearing Ohio State fans finally spelling the letter M. How about that? Because you can't what? spell Texas A&M without the M. You want to send your coach to Texas A&X? That's what I'm hearing. Please don't. Guy recruits his head off. Guy's got a ton of talent on that side of the ball. And nobody can blow a whistle in a huddle, hopping up and down and allowing his fellas to dance on the big house turf before the game like this guy. I love him. I love him. I hope he stays forever. This would be great. He doesn't deserve that. He does not deserve that. Guys won 50 or more other games. Come on now. Look at his total record. And Chris, I want to speak about this part of it too. First time I did this sort of damn thing on Ohio State a few years ago, I think you all were, you know, in my camp. Look at Rich. Say it with your chest. I mean, you know. And then year two, it happened. Let's pump it up. You were like, okay. You did two years in a row. And if you had told me back then when the worm began to turn, I was hoping that it would be three years in a row. I'm like, get out of here. I would have thought you'd be all in with me. But I understand. Michigan has its detractors. And I kind of know how you feel, Chris, from the Spygate back in the day. Yep. You did it. Yep. We, <laughs> I guess we forfeited our coach for three games, right? In the same way you forfeited a, a draft choice, right? Sure. We forfeited our sure. guy. Sure. But I, I, I understand you didn't want it to take away from all the banners. That's not the reason why you had the banners. You had the banners because you had some great players. You had some great coaches. And, you, and you, we didn't know what, the, what they did with the video. They didn't really couldn't use it in the game or whatever. You never knew. We all assumed there had to be something up with the Patriots. I kind of feel the same way right now. Everyone else assumed that. But. I know. I kind of now have a newfound respect for you, sir. It's, having to deal with all that. It's kind of fun being hated, right? And guess what? It is. Yeah. And I never thought that way about it. It's fun. Bring it. <laughs> yeah. I never thought that Embrace I it. would feel that way. Yeah. We're always talking about don't call it yellow, call it maize. Now I'm saying, you know who's number one? I'm changing the finger from the index to the middle. <laughs> and I never thought I would be in that position and enjoy it. It's great. Welcome to the dark side. Dude, Rich. now Jim gets to come back and look at Commissioner Petiti and say, I'll take the trophy like Bill did to Roger. What the hell? Bring it. It's great. Michigan versus everybody and everybody's like, well, everybody. Like what? So you 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 uh you cheated. And we'll find out. We're in the penalty phase of this because we're now officially in the phase of what did they really do, the cheating? Because we're just as good. And officially, we are the kings of the Big Ten. We rule the roost. Oh, it's so amazing. Because, wait a minute, one more time. What are you hearing? 
from Ohio State. Nothing. You can't say a word. The last three years are the last three years. And they're doing the math like a beautiful mind right now. Okay, so if, if Washington loses to Oregon and Texas moves on and Alabama beats Georgia and suddenly, you know, the partridge roosts in the pear tree and all of that stuff. All of that stuff. Trying to back in again and almost win it last year. Maybe they will. Maybe they will. But in the meantime... We're kick it up. <laughs> kick it up. There you go. <laughs> Our feet. And heading to Indianapolis again, where Jim Harbaugh can take the trophy, point to everybody saying, my name's in the ring of honor <laughs> in that building, and move on. And whatever happens then, in my mind, is gravy. And whatever the NCAA comes in and wants to – Give Jim a a parting gift to force him out to the NFL. Even though he's already gotten three games of a suspension, he's back. Go on a winning streak and flip everybody off. Never thought I'd be in this position, Chris. I need to take notes from you. I mean, what have have we been talking about in the last decade? Because we're here. Come on, man. We're here. (laughs) The number of times I hear about it. But now, guy's gone. Penn State, what time is it? You're gone. Also, three, number of wins in a row over Ohio State. And the guy's not even there anymore. And you had a month and a half to switch your signs up. And clearly, that game was in doubt. And Michigan came up with the plays to win. And I'm hearing nothing from that school down south or whatever you want to call it. All right. Oh, you feel good? Great. <laughs> you need to light a cigar after that. You know I'm what? Say, I got one around here. I feel on. great. We can go home now. <laughs> we can go home now. <laughs> we got some Kentucky Derby cigars. I think you need to break them out. <laughs> we can go home now. <sighs> now do it in the playoff. Oh, no. Listen, you are not wrong. That is their playoff. That's their championship. No, 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 One million percent fair. Let's see what happens now. Because I think they're going to come out here. Rose Bowl. If they, by the way, beating Iowa, I understand uh, what the odds makers with their over under setting says that they're not even going to score a touchdown, right? Oh, I haven't looked. No, no. People are telling me, all all of my Michigan guys are saying, look at the line and look at the over under. And the line that Michigan has them but winning, you do the math, yeah. and they the over they, they don't believe Iowa's going to even score a touchdown. Uh, actually, a touchdown. Okay. It's, it's 23 so, and fine. 35 and, now. And, so. and it's always tough, and my heart will be in my throat, and I'll look yeah. at Susie at some point on Saturday night saying, why does this mean so much to me? It's going to happen again at yeah. some point. Sure. I mean, it would be great to be placed in a rocking chair on Saturday and not have to worry about it. But I think they're going to come out here and take the pack, pick on the Pac-12 champ who is going to be awesome. Yeah, Either way, offense you haven't seen Either way. this season. And yeah, by the way, a future Big Ten opponent. True. Oregon was good. True. So, and then, good. dude, both it's going to be great. Oregon was good. But I'd rather be in it than not. Yep. And I'd rather be in it as a three-time Big Ten champ than not. And I'd rather be in it as a three-time Big Ten champ conference championship game participant because of three straight wins over the Ohio State, which is sitting in the home. (laughs) And I'd rather, more than all of us, be doing that with the rest of the world having nothing to say about the previous two years being for Gazy. Over! Don't want to hear it. And if you want to say it, say it to someone else. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free.